What's going on, everyone? We're back again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my MLB predictions. We're obviously gonna start off with that AL East division, and we're just kind of gonna go through this. And we're gonna start with the Red Sox here because the Red Sox are an interesting squad moving forward. I think they're definitely on paper like an okay team. But I think they're definitely looking, you know, from the rumors I've heard about this squad in general, they're definitely looking to make a big splash in the next free agent market with a couple of the guys coming off the books. So that should be exciting for this team, and hopefully they get them back to the you know winning potential. Because we know this franchise has had a lot of winning potential in the past. It's definitely exciting to see where they're headed. I mean, this year is not going to be the best for them they'll probably have a similar season to last year right around 500 maybe maybe a little bit worse than that that's going to be kind of a season for the red sox the last couple of seasons yeah i just don't think they're going to be a good squad i got them in fifth place coming at number four i have the toronto blue jays now i think the blue jays were definitely an interesting team last year they obviously make the playoffs you know get smoked by the twins pretty much and they've had that pretty much that same road pretty much the last two seasons so i think they missed the playoffs this season i don't really have this team highly rated i mean they just always choke for me and especially in the postseason i mean it's bad but maybe miss the playoffs I don't know. I think we're gonna see some new teams that we haven't seen in a while kind of make the playoffs again. So I got the Blue Jays in fourth. We're gonna definitely see how this team goes. This division is gonna be interesting to be honest, but they could definitely sneak in here if they play some solid baseball. For my predictions, I got them right outside the postseason. So coming in number three, I have the Yankees. And I do think the Yankees are gonna have a better season than last year. Obviously, they were a little bit above 500, keeping their streak going. And I do think that this team is gonna be better on paper. I do have this team in the sixth seed at the end of the season in a playoff spot. So I do think this team is gonna be solid and good, especially with that Juan Soto pick. Up. I was never really high on Juan Soto to begin with, but he's proven me wrong with the spring training performances already. So definitely excited to see what he's capable of doing in Yankee Stadium. And I definitely think this team's going to play well. I think Cole's going to have another good solid season. I think that pitching rotation can kind of bounce back again and the hitting should be pretty solid. So that's where I have him this season. Coming in second, I have the Tampa Bay Rays. I have them as the fourth seed in the postseason. I think the Rays are definitely a solid squad on paper. They always find a way to upset. Like they always find a way to upset predictions. They just always find a way to play good and get in the playoffs with new players. And that's kind of their brand of baseball, and I really like it. And I definitely think this team's going to be solid again. They were two games out of winning that division last year. And I definitely think it's going to be a close race again this season with the Rays. Don't think they're going to win the division yet, and I just think they're going to go back to the wild card. Now, coming in first, I have the Baltimore Orioles. Now, I, this might be a surprise to some people, but I really do think that this season is the Orioles' season to win it all. I really do think this is their World Series year. I mean, I said it last year, you know, I, in some videos, I said the winner of that Orioles-Rangers series is winning the World Series, and the Rangers happen to come out on top, and they happen to win the World Series. So I do think that this team is definitely next up and they obviously got Corbin Burns now they got a couple of their players in there but really excited to see how Craig Kimbrell is going to do it it's definitely in that bullpen because he was definitely an interesting player for the Phillies last year but that's kind of my AL East right now I got the Orioles Rays and Yankees making the playoffs from this division now heading over to the AL Central let's go through this one I got the Tigers coming in first I got the Twins in second the Royals in third the Guardians in fourth and the White Sox in fifth now we look at the White Sox on paper this team is definitely in that whole rebuild phase I kind of feel bad for a couple of their players, honestly. Like, I really wish Luis Robert didn't sign that contract in 2020 because he would have been on such a better squad at that point. And, man, I really do think he could be on a better team, and he's not really showing his full potential on a winning squad which kind of sucks same with dylan cease they never really traded him in the offseason they just got a couple looks we already heard the braves gm talking about he was too expensive so that's definitely an interesting take but yeah not going to be a good season for the white Sox again they'll probably get lose 100 games if i had to guess and there's a lot of work to be done in chicago and who knows you know with their new stadium should be exciting that's the one thing yeah good you guys got to look forward to in chicago so coming in at number four i have the cleveland guardians now this team is definitely interesting on paper they didn't really make any upgrades they're just trying to change their manager out that was kind of it so i don't really have this team really ranked highly i don't think they're going to be that good of a squad this season definitely think they'll be a little bit under 500 if i had to take a guess but i got them fourth in this division i definitely think the teams in front are just going to be better coming in at number three of the kansas city royals now the royal squad is definitely i'm excited about this team they obviously spent 105 million dollars in that off season got a ton of players obviously the bobby wood jr extension finally happened so i'm excited for him that he's gonna finally be on the squad for life because he really is their franchise star and he's really the best player on this team and i really do think the royals got a good shot to get back to that postseason very soon i don't think it's gonna be this season though they, i don't think they have a good shot to really get in there depending on how they play but definitely a massive upgrades to this team and i'm definitely expecting this team to be above 500 this season coming in at number two of the minnesota twins and the twins are an interesting squad on paper they definitely did get like a little bit better but some of their players did get poached for, for me personally i like the twins i think they're definitely a good squad but losing losing sunny gray is just massive for this team in my opinion you still have joe ryan and lopez on this squad so definitely some solid pieces but i do think they're going to take a little bit of step back this season and I just don't think they're going to win the division. The team I have first is the Detroit Tigers. I really think highly of this Detroit squad. They got a great young core in this team, and they really have some good stars, I think, in my opinion. So it's really just going to depend on if those guys are going to play up to their potential. I mean, Javi Baez is an interesting candidate at that shortstop position. He hasn't really showed much, to be honest, this spring training. I don't think he's got a hit all spring training, which is pretty interesting. But he's going to be the key factor. If he's able to play decent, I think this team's got a shot. 
definitely to get to the postseason. And we know their pitching is going to be good. This young, you know, hitting core is going to be good. Definitely going to be interesting. I have them as the three seed heading into the postseason next year. I think that's my AL Central. Only one team getting out of here, which I think we've all expected at this point. But I do think the Tigers are going to have a way better season than last season. So let's go over to the AL West. I have the Rangers, Astros, Mariners, Angels, and A's. So coming in at number five, we obviously have the A's. I mean, this team, you know, once again, they do have some young stars that are very exciting to watch. I can't wait to watch this A squad moving forward. And obviously with Zach Leoff and Riaz in the outfield, definitely going to be exciting to watch. You know, he's definitely good at stealing all those bases. I know everyone likes to talk smack about the A's, but guys, just you wait. I'm predicting as soon as they get this new stadium, this team's going to be back in the playoffs. That's my, kind of my prediction right now because they had a very interesting trade deadline. They didn't trade everyone away like they normally do. They kind of kept a couple of those pieces back, so that's kind of how I knew. I think this team's going to be good in a couple seasons. And definitely with some of their draft picks they already made and have some of the players in their spring breakout, it's definitely going to be a good team. I'm telling you, definitely going to be a solid squad for sure. And yeah, I, I, I give this team like four years. They're going to be good. And, you know, it, it is what it is. Everyone likes to, you know, talk smack about this team, but... Just give it time, they're going to be right back up there. Coming in at number four, we have the Angels. Now, the Angels, once again, interesting squad. Obviously, lose Otani, which is not the best. You make a couple good pitching moves in that bullpen, but that was pretty much it. They didn't make a whole lot of moves in general. So, you know, I don't think they're going to be anything special. You know, they're going to be fourth in this division. There's way better teams in the AL in general over them. So, yeah, not going to happen this season. Might as well sell the franchise. Coming in at number three, of the Mariners. Now, Seattle's definitely an interesting shout. You know, I definitely think that this team is a good team. They've been good the last couple of seasons. It's just for me, they always miss out the playoffs. They had a really hard schedule to finish out the year last year, playing the Rangers twice and the Nationals once or something like that. It could be vice versa, but they just had a really hard schedule to end that season, and they just got to find the games where they can win. They got to get off to a hot start, beat the teams they're supposed to be. I mean, you play everyone in the league, so you got to beat some of those lower tier teams, and those are the games that matter coming down the stretch. So definitely going to be an interesting season for the Mariners. I think they're going to barely miss the playoffs. Like I think they're really going to be like the seventh seed or something, like literally barely miss again in my opinion, but we'll see. Never know what this squad can produce. Coming in at number two, we have the Houston Astros. The Astros, once again, solid squad. This team has been really good for years. I do have them as the fifth seed right now. I do think that this team was probably going to get back to the NLCS, which the reporters have talked about multiple times. Like their eighth time going back there or something crazy like that. So I definitely think that's probably going to happen again with the Astros. This team is just really good on paper. And you know, they just have all the pieces. Obviously, with the Altuve extension now going to be solid. I really like what the GM's done over there. Obviously, the new GM. So I really like the squad a lot and definitely going to be an interesting time heading into the season. And coming in at number one, I have the Texas Rangers. I really do think the Rangers are going to win this division again. I think they're going to be the two seed. I do think that they're going to just be the best team in the AL West, second behind the Orioles. I think they could win 100 games this season. Definitely going to be an interesting shout from them. But you know, obviously, they haven't really signed Jordan Montgomery back, which was definitely an interesting question for me. But they have made some decent amount of moves, just signing guys in general. Their, their minor league system is really solid, too. That farm system is really great. So expecting some of those guys to come up and help this team out a lot. So I got the Orioles 1. I got the Rangers 2. I got the... Tigers three, I got the Rays four, I got the Astros five, and the Yankees six for my postseason. 